The world's most famous race, the Aintree Grand National. Us three will be very lucky to be there to watch it on a Saturday. Uh, Joel, Frankie and myself. And the current ramble looks to bid and do a red rum and a tiger roll win back-to-back -back Grand Nationals. Can he do it, Joel? Before you say anything, let's just flash back 12 months to say exactly what you said for the 2023 running. I think he's got absolutely no chance whatsoever. It's a lay, 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 lot. It's well in. Do you remember we sat here and we talked about cloth cap and everybody was on the bandwagon, the money was piling in. Oh, it's well in and run an absolute shocker. Correct line rambler, absolutely, 100%, no chance whatsoever. There you go. Lay, 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 can't win, won't win. 100% won't win. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's, I had an opinion and it was idling up the run in. <laughs> Nearly got beat. <laughs> Um, Go on, give, give us this year's can't win. Correct, Rambler. Cannot win, even with a handicapper trying to make the English win, because we've only got three entries, haven't we? Um, he looked knackered in the Gold Cup. Yes, yeah, what I mean. The hardest race in the Gold Cup there. And we've talked before about, you know, the Gold Cup does take a lot out of the horses. Look at Apelousal, one of your favourite horses. Never the same. No. Uh, Brave Man's Game, I mean, probably don't, don't blame, the, blame, blame the Gold Cup on that one. But I just, I just thought it was too... Um, uh, the, the goal cut for me, at uh, that short price, it, uh, it's drifted a little bit, but let's do. The opposing argument, with all the changes to the national, mm. it's more of a. It was an easy win last year. Glorified handicap, isn't it? Mm. Oh! And a. How dare you? A goal cut third in a handicap. Yeah. There's oh, no, it's best horse in the race. It, could, you, could you go through that entire list of 34 runners now and tell me that there's a horse that would have finished ahead of that horse, correct remember, in the goal cut? No. 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 So it's the classiest horse in the race. So there is that case to be made. But higher in the handicap, or more well, though it would be higher if you could have been reassessed. Ground and price. Yeah. Price is a big thing, isn't it? Um, what was it last year? Nine, I think. Yeah, nine. <laughs> but actually, the big thing for me is just how much he's gone up in the weights. Mm. That's a big ask, isn't it? When you assess any handicap, whether it's the Grand National lot or not, to see a previous winner going more than £10 up and coming and having a crack again. Your well, 11, 11 five last year, that's what I got here, 11 five and 10 five. Your first thought is that there'll be one in here better in the weights. Okay. And, and on this ground, are we not, do, do, are we not looking for a, a light weighted horse? Or are we looking for class? Because it, it is absolutely hammered it down. They've, they've taken pieces from Aintree, and I know not, not as much as Haydock, but, they, but they're not gonna go, oh, it's really heavy. We end no. up, you know, so soft in places. It's know, heavy. It, it, it's, I mean, it's, it's horrendously heavy. It, mm. Well, I just noticed Nick Jensen's not got a runner this year. It's <laughs> 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 not. It must be heavy. Yielding, <laughs> yielding. Right, two for JP. Well, he's got loads in there, obviously, but two the head of the market. I am Maximus, the Irish Grand National winner, and Meeting of the Waters, which I know you like. Yes, I do. I like the way that he plugged, well, I wouldn't say plugged on, he ran a good race at Cheltenham, just got done a little bit for pace. Uh, he carries a nice lightweight of 10 stone 7. Danny Mullins, I think, will take the ride. And I just think he will appreciate going a bit slower. Will he be able to jump more in his comfort zone and travel really nicely? And he's got some good form in the books. And look, maybe he hasn't had, well, he definitely hasn't had as hard of a race at Cheltenham as some of these. I quite like the way that he travelled through the race. I just think, yeah, two on the front, went a good pace and finished the race stronger than he did. But he looks a, a fair chance meeting with the waters. He was bought by JP just before Cheltenham, wasn't he? I yeah. guess this was the idea. Yeah, obviously 100%. And um, I am Maximus. <laughs> you know, a lot of people have got into the jockey bookings um, this week. Um, Paul Talon, I, I think Paul Talon was always going to ride I am Maximus. And people going, oh, what's this? You know, uh, Limerick um, Lace has, has, has been picked by Mark Walsh. Um, or has he? I mean, I know I, I quite like that horse. And you quite like her as well. But the mayor hasn't won it in 70 odd years. I'm Maximus. There was the big gamble on this before the, the jockeys were announced. But is there a lot between Townend and Mark Walsh, really? I mean, not be, I mean they're both top, top jocks. It's, it's interesting, it's, he hasn't ridden it. It's since. not David Maxwell, you know. With, <laughs> <laughs> He's got a ride. He's, He's got, got a ride to win the Irish National, didn't he? That's yeah. the last time I heard him to win the Irish National. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, he made a load of mistakes that day, didn't he? And he still managed to get him home. He has beat Vanillier as well. He's a great one winner. Yeah, giving weight away as well. It's, it's, a tick, a, it's a tick, it's a big tick for me. But again, prices on, on, on what could be a lottery, and the last few years we always said it's not the lottery it used to be. Um, it was actually the name of the first ever national. Absolutely, it? it was. 
Very good. I just think, looking at the weights, Iron Maximus carries 11.5, Meeting of the Waters carries 10.7. All right. I wouldn't have them worlds apart. Corak Rumble and Iron Maximus carry the same weight. Who would you rather be on? Iron Maximus. Corak. There you go. Iron Maximus. I love this. Love it when you two <laughs> fall out. No, there's six less runners this year. <laughs> well, that's the top two in the market. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. He was always going to go for the flat. Yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah let's go. Uh, you know. Right, uh, the other one at single figures right now, Vanillier. And uh, he's a horse that I backed last year and I thought we will be back for more, surely. And 364 days later, this has definitely been the target. However, on closer inspection, and it was a bad run behind Iron Maximus, clearly it's been about this day. 10 stone 11. Yeah. You know, it was very useful. However, 13 starts over fences, just one win. Well, if, the, if a big handicap's the target, though, you don't want to be winning them, do you? And you, we talk about weights. Korak Grambler's obviously gone up. He was second to last mm. year. And then Iron Maximus has gone up as well. So he's the one horse that probably finished Seven second pounds. last year. And they thought, we'll have another go at that next year. I don't, I don't need to do anything between then and now. And, and if I'm um, Gavin Cromwell, I'd have got off and given it a great year as well. Yeah, 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 it's a great year. I'd have come off and give a jockey a good kick and gave him too much to do last year. <laughs> um, and, would have, and would have made me not look like I looked when I said, Corrie Rambler cannot win. <laughs> too much to do. Staying on, staying on strongly. Here we go. It was Sean Flanagan, wasn't it? Last yeah, 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 yeah. I think he is absolute napo to be in the frame. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. You've, well, it's a really safe jumper as well. Yeah, safe jumper has done it before. Uh, it, you know, carries 10, 11. The other. Corrick that was in front of him has gone up in the weights. He'll go on the ground. Gavin Cromwell's flying. He's been very positive in the press as well. He seems to have been quite, not keen to, but open to do a lot of press around this horse. And I think that's because he is confident about his chances. Yeah, guaranteed to be in the frame. Don't forget, online, exclusive and on the app, seven places each way. Yes, seven places each way. Only 34 runners this year. I'd be massively surprised if you don't, if you back Vinod each way and you are not collecting at least your place money, I, I just can't see him being out of the first seven. What about the, the next tier of oh. the market? Mr. Incredible, Panda Boy, Marla Mission? I, Mr. Incredible is my winner. Uh, really liked the run last year. Uh, saddle slipped uh, at the canal turn and was going really, really well at that point. And it would be one of those where you just go, all right, we've got another one in this. And I think I've said before about this, the stats don't <laughs> don't really favour us for certain things for Mr. Incredible. Uh, it's Willie Mullins again. Um, we're trying for its life. Um, I presume Brian Hayes will get the ride again, did nothing wrong last time. Uh, and I think 12 to 1 is a, is a, is a fair price. And I really, I really liked Mr. Incredible. My of all worry. The I'll just spoil it again. You get all the Cheltenham rumours, don't you? And it's Gold Cup day. Everyone's kind of, I think it was actually after Gold Cup, you've got a couple of races left and everyone starts talking about the Midlands National and this was given as a certainty. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, National. it was a certainty. What happened? <sighs> Come just, second to a yeah. boat port, he did about eight miles because he <laughs> drove up the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah like lost irons. But, but everybody, everybody heard that. Mr. Incredible tomorrow, right? Whatever you've won this week. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Go up, pit on. And, you know, fair enough, he almost did win, but winning a Midlands National and winning a Grand National is a very different story. This is a lot more competitive, and if he couldn't win that, I'm not going mad about him winning this. Okay, yeah, well, you know, it's about opinions. Mm -hmm. I might be proven wrong. Okay, no, no, no. We'll do well to find the winner. Yeah, Langer Dan, Gaelic Warrior. If you like me to the waters, how can you not like Panda Boy? Yes, I know. Uh, we're talking about weights again. Gamble, isn't it, this one? Best I like weights. him. Yeah. Nice, nice little fourth over hurdles. Obviously he was giving Christmas run. The water's ten pounds when second. And now he gets one for four lengths. One, yes. Fifth in the Irish National, and he was slightly unlucky over, I think, the second last. Just didn't yeah. quite get his landing gear mm -hmm. out. Uh, yeah, I think he's got a good chance, and Martin Brazil's a good trainer for getting one right for a handicap like this, isn't he? So um, yeah, number six Valverde is. I think he's mm. with number, what it with number six Valverde. Mm. That was his, wasn't it? For your time. <laughs> no, I was just saying, but I like, caused so much confusion. I was there that day, and people, to people like, oh, which one are you back in? Number six, Valverde. Yeah, it was like <laughs> number six, and you know, the whole thing was all that, absolutely. Well, well, what's number six? Yeah, well, what's number six? What's that then? <laughs> oh, it's a 200 to one dog. <laughs> you don't know them anymore, do you? Doesn't mm. take a lot, does it? Uh, and only seven lengths behind Iron Maximus in that Irish National. Mm, exactly, yeah, I think he's got a huge chance. Been laid out for this. Yeah. Absolutely massive chance. 10 stone six right down the bottom. Yeah, um, so he's on my list. Late, eh? <laughs> to chop a leg off. Mm. Uh, Marla Mission, two runs this season, second in both. Yes, as soon as he finished um, in the Hennessy, I thought he would have a, a chance.
chance if he wanted to come here. He was talked about as potentially going straight to the Gold Cup after that run. And I guess just because of the season that he's had and how it's worked out. And again, it's all about what weight you're going to carry when you want to be competitive in this. They thought, actually, he'll probably have a chance in the National carrying 11-4. He hasn't gone the trip. I mean, not, not with them having necessarily had a crack at the National. But he looked like he could have beaten... Um, the name escapes me. It begins with a G. At Cheltenham in the National Hunt Chase. But he Guy de Manil. Yes, who <coughs> has finished second in an Irish National mm-hmm. and third in a Grand National, is it? Um, and that's over, what, three miles, six? And he was staying on really well there. So I don't think trip would be an issue. Uh, and in the Hennessy, he lost two, I think, of his shoes. So a negative there hasn't probably given his true running. A few excuses <laughs> coming up here. Hey? Is it? Tell you. <laughs> As a result, yeah, look, <clears throat> fell, lost his shoes, yeah. <laughs> hasn't will, won. Will it stay? Got to, I think so. I think it'll definitely stay. I think I love the speed of the race, but I just, I, 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 will, it, will, will the horse stay? No, I, th- I, I do think it'll stay. And he's, he's probably one of mine to be in the frame. Um, and John McConnell was really positive about him before the Hennessy. I think he does yeah, like he him. Was. Has he had a, not a great year? Am I, am I making no, it No, he hasn't. It, no, no, it certainly had to have a great Because the year before, it was a case of with we'd look at anything that had moved a couple of points and it was all, you know, no form and it'd be straight on John McConnell and, and this year I always put him in Cromwell in the same bracket and Cromwell's had a belt of Zero wins from 15 runs. Yeah, we I mean, had a really poor spell, didn't he? It went like months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I like Limerick Lace. Yeah, I do. Do you want me to go first? <laughs> <laughs> you go first. Take it away, boys. Uh, I know people say about staying. Uh, it was always that old ball back two and a half mile. But we're second in the Troy Town yeah. over three. Handled the ground. The choice of Mark Welsh, if we're led to believe that. Um, yeah. But I, I was I alive don't, I don't at really think so. I think that's bad. She'll hand on the goes. ground. If she stays, again, she's a 20 to 1 shot that I think mm. will be definitely in the frame and say remember online exclusive and on the app seven places each way and I think she's got a huge chance of again off another low weight. Tough to beat Diana Blue as well who is a great mm. home performer and did stay I think mm. and was on testing ground as well. Another one I said he's been pretty prominent in press interviews but Gavin Cromwell said he has no questions if she'll stay. No. Related to I know the way you're thinking mm. who is a proper stay. Mm. Nassala. Mm, my old mate. <laughs> I mean, just a, a short head victory. But he's got more weight than Corrett Rambler. Could you? And he was yeah, tailed off in the Gold Cup. Really so. it's like, I know, but it's the ground. It's the ground, isn't it? Yeah. If it is as bad, it is. It's it's, 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 it's it's worse than I'm making it out to be. Mm. Back to my Cheltenham last year off a one four four. Back to my Aintree off a one four three. Back to him this year off a one four two. Missed him at Chepstow off a one four one when he hacked up. Didn't back him again when he won the Welsh <laughs> National off a one four five. Now comes to, to the Grand National off. 160s, he cannot win. Yeah, can, he, uh, can, I, I can't. can Noble Yates yeah. regain? I, I've got, I've Potentially, got, yeah. I've got Noble Yates in my top three. Potentially. He's read wrong last week. Only, only seven year old to win this under the uh, the dentist, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, back, at, back in the day. Um, yeah, he, yeah, I, I, I gave him a chance. Yeah, I really, I really want as well because it's, it's been there, done it, so many times. Mm. And very much, he, he, you know, started that at seven. Mm. So he's like, oh, here we are again. Also, the defence is starting to get lower and lower. He's like, as he's getting older, they're going, well, am I getting? Am I shrinking? What's going on here? Uh, r- really like Noble Yates. Um, you don't know. And do Harry, you? Harry Cobden. You know, I imagine, yeah. I mean, Harry, Harry Cobden is bought. <laughs> Harry Cobden wins the national and the jockey's title. Paul yeah. Nichols can't win the <laughs> trainer's title. Even though Cobden's won, yeah. It. yeah, yeah. I'd give him a chance. You don't know how the horses are going to react to when they switch back to fences, but might put a bit of life back into him. He might enjoy himself back round entry. I'll I'll give him a chance. 1951 was the last mare. Nickel coin. I know I kind of like Limerick Lace, but I also give a massive squeak to the Skeletons Gallie de la Toe. Mm. Well, enjoy she the loves ground. going left handed, she enjoyed the ground, she ran a cracker at Warwick in the classic chase, and he can put a line through a last one because that was only a couple of weeks after, she's probably still feeling the effects. Probably Two months sense. off. We will take the mick. <laughs> I, was, I was saying, I, you know, we do take the mick and talk about um, Dan Skelton being good at placing one in a handicap. He Not was too. saying on Unexpected party. Uh, racing TV that she's got a bit clever and she doesn't really race in small fields. She prefers a bigger field and I suppose conveniently the Warwick Chase and the Grand National are big fields <laughs> and the races in between aren't. But um, yeah, I don't think I don't think she's hit her mark yet. Remember when she first started mm. no fences, it, she was talked about as a proper grade one yeah. horse and it didn't really happen for her. I think did she, did she fall or she, she missed a fence on, on maybe first start when she was odds on and then hasn't happened for her and she's been beaten at short prices. But she did run really well in the Warwick, Warwick Chase, which is a test. Um, she's, she's well weighted. She's down, you know, she carries 10 stone six. 
and she does love conditions. So, I yeah, I could be on board. I think. I think she's got a chance. We've got <coughs> Manella Indo and Delta Work, former high class chasers. Has their time been and gone? Yeah, well, in this class, but would it be the cross country. Um, yeah, would have been. Yeah, race, would, would have been that. Um, it wouldn't be for me. I don't know. Yeah, the only thing that sticks out in my mind is Tiger Roll getting beaten in the cross country purely because of the. That was close. <laughs> that was really close. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'd like it as well. I shot with that. <laughs> Like Delta Work will love shot that um, a test <laughs> and has played has placed in a national third I think yeah yeah national yeah so he's done it or nearly done it before um, Gordon Elliott said he's in good form at home I'm saying I could have every horse in the race that we talk about that is true uh, but you know yeah I'm I'm not backing him but I wouldn't tell you that he can't win there's loads of potential stories in there in here and, and that's what the race is all about We've got late night pass. Tom mm. Ellis trained, owned by his mum, ridden by his wife, Lucy Turner as well. Go Chambard, on. yeah, the triple on figure Chambard. price, uh, won the beach, didn't it? Mm. Um, Cocoa Beach was back in second, it was absolutely dog ground that it day. It was, yeah. Last one since as well, yeah. Cocoa Beach. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cocoa Beach, yeah. 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 there's yeah. nearly two stone between them in the weights that day, but mm. if you're if you're looking, <laughs> looking for something at a, a big price, this is the year to do it, isn't it? When you're ground like that, you've got... You know, good young jocks on a very you know lightweight uh, and claiming as well. And do you know David Maxwell's only got two races? Oh, you see this? Uh, David Maxwell's got two more to go before he does his claim. No way. Two really? more winners. So he's a fox he loses hunter. his claim in the national. There's fox hunters and then loses his claim in the national. <laughs> Ain't that a shame? Who? Oh. One of my esters. Well, again, again, you know, I, I'm just I'm, I'm putting it out there just for a laugh. <laughs> Plain devil's advocate. We, we should, no, we should have a pint here and just have a laugh, right? Imagine you've you've backed um, what's his horse called? Ain't that a shame? Yeah, you've you've, you've backed uh, whatever it's sixty six to one, eighty to one only this week, right? And um, th there's no injuries happen, but um, David Maxwell bre breaks breaks a finger in the Fox Hunters. Everything's fine. It just snaps a finger, and then you look in the jockey room, in the weighing room, who's around? And then you go and get like a proper jock on, and you're sitting on a 66 to 1, 80 to 1 shot. I mean, I'm there. Rachel Blackmore picks up the right. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll give him a good squeak. I'll give him a good squeak. Well, I've done that right. <laughs> Whatever. But in all seriousness, 10 to 1 last year was a gamble because Rachel was on it. Um, <clears throat> Definitely talented. I mean, really talented. Tell 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 Wouldn't that be the, the sneakiest gamble of all time? Just the jockey oh. change gamble. He actually does. Get oh, injured. I've seen it happen over the years so many times. Anyway, we're not wishing anyone to get injured, are we? Come on. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> I, if, I, if, if I was going to be a pooper, I wouldn't have uh, not, late night part, late night pass when you mentioned. It's not. A, it's not no Oprah in that show. It's not. It's, no, no, it's not. It's no, not, it's just a good handicapper. Um, but you, but the, the the price is factoring in David Maxwell. Yeah. If there was one, I think the whole world would love to see Kitty's Lie win. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, you, right, you, you're the one to take over. You've been there. You've been a brilliant there, piece of on uh, Insta that you did with uh, mm. Christian on the beach. I, 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 it was so. It was really lovely. It would be great. Sorry about that. I mean, it was average, but <laughs> <laughs> it was really nice. Yeah, I, I mean, for anyone that doesn't know, I'm sure it'll be covered loads, won't it? And it has been already. But yeah, if Kitty's like when it'd be unbelievable. Um, the fact that he did the treble last year. Um, and the daughter was ill, and the fact the whole family kind of gets behind it, and the, even the way that he trains on the beach. He's so laid back. You know, he's so chilled out. They're such a lovely family. The, the two girls love Kitty's light. Um, she's been, or he, he's been, a real kind of horse for their family at a time. And you know, racing does have a habit of mm. pulling those stories out the bag when, right? And he's not completely out of the picture. He's five pounds higher I think than the hat trick he did last year I don't so know a chance that's the ground which is the ground yeah frustrating isn't it because everything's kind of right for Kitty's like and he's bouncing at home I went you know to see him only last week and he's flying at home they're really really happy with him but well, yeah, did you that would be out the back as well do you think just keep him out the back and then uh, he likes passing horses doesn't he and when he, when he looks done um, just everything about it, the way that Jack's rode him from when he was, uh, you know, a three-year-old on the beach. Jack's grown up with the... What about William's the same age, family. aren't they? <laughs> he lives down the road. I mean, Jack's family has Potter's Corner, who won mm. the Welsh and Midlands National for Christian Williams. And it is, you see Christian and his family, and they look after everyone, like from Jack and his family to all the work riders. They all kind of live nearby in a little seaside town in Wales. They're all looked after. They all love the horses. 
And yeah, if Kitty's life could go and win, it'd be incredible. So yeah, you know, to be fair, I will mention that um, many years ago, Christian invited me to Royal Ascot. Uh, so okay, I'll get you in. <laughs> and what he did, as we're queuing up, he dropped his his badge down the stairs and passed it to me so I could get through. <laughs> so do I get you in now? Do it to me as bit well. A, bit of Welsh magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, right. That's what that's what kids like. It's a yeah. bit of Welsh magic. No, we wish them luck. Seriously, wish them luck uh, in uh, both in the race and in the walks of life as well. Um, anything at a price? I like. I thought Roy Marge seventh last year. I know he's only a year old. What James Reevey booked? <sighs> I catch him booking. <laughs> I catch Half of these gags you won't get unless you let me you watch it all the time. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, he's probably still crying over uh, Ilif Horsé. Yeah, I'll just put one in. Was one on heavy man. ground in France. Must be James Reevely on board, seventh last year. Second from Felix. Felix Jules, yeah, French champion. Oh, well, well, I've evidently day. chosen who beat your Roy March. Yeah. Um, just having a look at the differences in the weights, but I think uh, not too much. Have we managed to go through every horse, do you believe, as of yet? Not yeah. quite, but we won't have time yeah, to do that. Yeah, I have my eye on, <laughs> on Adamantly Chosen, who never quite materialised as a graded horse, but no. um, won well over three miles, two furlongs on soft ground last time. Uh, wouldn't be my selection, but if you're trying to find something to have a go at a price, man. Start to beat Foxy Jacks. Anything else at the price, or uh, should we get no, stuck no, into like riding this up? And, uh, Noble Yates and Gowan, okay. just on the chance that he's overpriced because it's not going. Is he going? He's going. Yeah. Okay, give me. Is that off now then? <laughs> Joel Ross, give me your 2024 Grand National winner. Mr. Incredible will win the 2024 Grand National. Meeting of the Waters will win the 2024 Grand National. Oh, Panda Boy. Will win the 2024 what Grand National. <laughs> <laughs> Which means the prize is going to Ireland, unsurprisingly, because we've only got, I think, it's seven runners between. Oh, yeah, I haven't got Wales a single and... English selection in my top four, they're all Irish. Go on then, you go first. Give me your top four for the National. Meeting of the Waters, one. I'm going to actually change Panda Boy 2, so following the same form line. Vanillier, who we all agree is just a certainty to be there or thereabouts, in but the first seven. we'll probably find one too good. And then Marla Mission just plugging on into fourth. One, two, three, four. Mr. Incredible to win. Limerick Lace finished second, proving that a mayor or, or, or a filly, or whatever, cannot, cannot win this race. Girls, you know what I mean. Uh, Noble Yates back in third, and Chambard um, in fourth. A huge, stupid price. Phoenicia Williams, mud flying. What was you say? 100 to 1, Mom Lucy Turner claiming as well. Oh, are. hang on, I might swap some of these rounds, get them yeah. in multiples. Definitely Lucy Turner not. <laughs> yeah, let me turn that. Let me pension and yeah, whatever. Panda Boy, I think will win the national, followed by Vanillier, second again, staying on, and then the two mares, Galli de Lito and Limerick Lace, third and fourth. That's my top four. Don't forget though, seven places each way, exclusive online and on the app here at Betfred. Seven places, only 34 runners. How many do you think we'll get round? Ten. Ten. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> All right, I'm having that. Do you know what, what I was going to say? Fred, what ten. price for ten? Do you know what I was going to say? Well, no, no, twelve. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, right, okay. In all seriousness, before we go, does David Maxwell get round? That's a great special, isn't Ooh. it? I, 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 I get that push. Yeah, I'll be all over that on Saturday. Yeah, what price should you give me? <laughs> does, does David Maxwell get round on? I'm going to say the yes. Ho the horse is a, because is a he's a jumper. very good horse. He's an excellent jumper. Bomb proof, and he doesn't often fall off. I'm going to say yes. He's been round there a few times on the Fox. Yeah, four or five times, yeah, yeah. Yes, he gets round. I'm going to say pulled up. Go on. Just tired. I'm going to say fifth. Ooh, sneaky. Staying on. He's your fifth selection. No, no, he'll be cruising and cruising. <laughs> <laughs> the stirrup will go, everything will go. Back Look, in next time out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I catch you in the yeah. Once you get Harry Compton on that. <laughs> Grand Steeple Jace to Paris. Yeah, yeah. I've taken him over there, doesn't he? Uh, no, we just, most importantly. <laughs> Most importantly, we hope all horse and jockeys come back safe and sound. Of course, we were one of the softest ground Grand Nationals uh, for many a year. But I think we're in agreement. We've got three different selections. But the Irish, unsurprisingly, have a very strong hand. Whatever you're back in, the very best of luck in this year's National.